look how realistic this looks. <laughs> that is great. Like it literally looks like scalp. Okay, so these are the knots on like a regular, a regular wig. Look, look at the difference. Yanni Rose. So today, well, right now, we will be reviewing and putting on this Nadula wig. So I'm excited for this wig, y'all. Cause oh, uh, first off, okay, y'all are probably like Yanni, show us. <laughs> y'all, look at this, and it's already tinted. It's already pre-cut. It has three combs in here, so you get hold on, yeah. So you get three combs, and then you get this strap. And all the companies that's been putting this in their wigs. <laughs> y'all did what had to be done. And I'm proud of y'all because this band is so thick. Like, it's not that thick, but it's thick enough to like really lay on the back of your neck. And it's adjustable so you can get it really, really tight. And for me, I have a really small head. So this really helps um, because most wig most wigs like the size of the cap be kind of too big so this band always helps me and it also has like this silicone little strip on it which kind of lays it flat on your head so you can really wear this glueless and i love that so i'm gonna just try it on as is really quick just to see what we're working with oh it fits so good y'all what the i mean <laughs> y'all because hold on it's too it's i got it too far this wig is basically a um four by seven five so normally y'all know it was, it was a four by four and then they went to four by six and now this is like almost like a four by eight which is perfect because it literally stops at your temples so you can part it in the middle you could part it on the side like you can like let me see how deep you can go look you can do a really deep like part with this and it looks so good oh i miss when i used to have my hair like this i think that's probably the style i'm gonna do with this wig because a little swoop i haven't done a side part in so long so <laughs> we may have to make it work but like i said you can do really deep parts you could do a middle part this seven by this seven like look how deep it goes y'all this seven it literally goes right here which is perfect for any type of parting and any type of style without having a frontal because if y'all but <laughs> if y'all been watching me for some years y'all know y'all would know i'm not really a frontal type of gal like i am a closure girl because you could pull like your hair out and if you really lay it properly it looks so natural it just looks so beautiful and it's easy to take on to take off <laughs> i'm excited about this wig so i don't really get excited about wigs like i used to but this is gonna eat down oh, this wig the knots i'm just realizing <laughs> the knots are literally invisible like okay so these are the knots like it because I was like, hold on. Okay, so these are the knots on like a regular. What? <laughs> and this is fresh out of the box. Y'all, because I was like, hold on. Like, it says pre-bleached, right? Which I see. But I'm like, even with pre-bleaching a knot, like your wig, even pre-bleaching your closures or your frontal, you still see the, the um, you still see the knots. This one don't have none. It's literally invisible. Oh, babe. Oh my God. 
to do is add a little bit of spray. Literally, I take one little spray across and I just rub it out with my fingers to get it like really, really thin, right? And then I let it air dry. I notice when you let it air dry, it gets a little more tacky and that tackiness is what you need for that lace to kind of melt down um, without using like heavy glues and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right there and literally just press it down like this. Just press it down like this. <laughs> like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. So um, what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of mousse and put it on my little brush. And then, um, let's see. And then we're going to push this back, push this back. And then, but I like to, you could keep a little bit, so I'll show y'all like. So this is the way I like them. I just feel like it looks, I don't know, I feel like it is a little more soft um, that way. So I do it that way. And then let's brush this down. And honestly, y'all, I really don't want to style this wig because the texture of this is so pretty. So I'm going to just add a little bit of mousse. So I'm going to take this um, mousse, this curl defining mousse, and I'm going to just use a little bit. So take about this much and it's not a lot, but just softly rake it through this hair. I just want to see the, the texture of it. It's so pretty like the natural texture it came in. And I usually don't ever say that or um, do this to wigs, but I might call it on, this texture is really pretty. It's really like soft and flowy. It, all, it like really looks like beach hair. Like, like literally, <laughs> it looks like it literally looks like, you know how you get in the pool and you come out and it's just like... <sighs> <laughs>